All right, this is a quick little video about the uh, Marlin file browser. I'll leave the, the commands for the terminal to install it. That's if you want to or not. Uh, it's by the elementary project, and from what I understand, it's still in development, so I don't really recommend actually uh, switching over to it just yet. But I've, actually, I've been using it for about two weeks now, and it, it seems to be stable enough to use for basic use, but as far as having like full support for right-click and stuff like that, it's not quite there yet. But it is really nice, you know, and I feel that I should at least, you know, show you guys something about it. And because, um, you know, if, if you're familiar with the new GNOME 3, like, you know, Natalis was also updated as well. And some people like it, some people don't. I myself, I, I have no problem with it. It's very functional. It's just that the way it looks, looks kind of weird to me. You know what I mean? So Marlin is a, is a, a potential alternative. There it is. So here's Marlin. I hope I'm saying that right. So it looks a lot like Nalus Elementary. If you remember that from the from Nalus 2. Point whatever. So it's kind of similar, but it, it is in its own way. It's, it's a unique little thing, I guess. And um, you know, it has a couple different cool little features I do like. Like uh, right now, it's an icon view, but you can go into list if you wanted to. I believe Dolphin does this. Stuff like that, or you can go into uh, like a like a panel, kind of a pane view, I guess. So go to my pictures, I guess, and have a bunch of junk in here. There it goes, and it kind of sorts it all out. Then it gives you a little JPEG with all the information. So that's pretty cool. Like, I'm digging that. Um, it has little animations, kind of. Like, see how, like, I... When I moved it down, let me see. It'll kind of shrink just a little bit. There it goes. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Let's go back to the uh, icon view. So yeah, it it's compatible with, with Unity as well. It it has a menu bar, so like if you want to like you know maximize it full screen, in Unity it will have the little you know your little uh, what do you call it your open close minimize buttons and your your main menu it'll be up there as well. So anyways, um, let's go to preferences. There's behavior right now. See how it says single click? It's by default it's a single click. If you don't want it, just you know slide it over. It has an option to make it to your default, and if you want to do that, um, I don't really recommend it just yet, but you can try it if you want. Um, what it did for me, all it did was really was uh, when I would plug in like an external device, like a USB, it would open up in Marlin rather than Atlas. And here's display, just for your little icons on the side right here. Small, medium, large, extra large. Your little information, date, time, stuff like that. And plugins, there are some plugins in there. Um, you can, uh, I believe, download a the Ubuntu one plugin if you need it but I haven't used it so I can't really verify if it works or not right so anyways you can customize it a little bit you can go right click menu bar all right let's go to uh, the, that context pane that's this right here this little side pane if you don't want that you want to get it out of the way temporarily you can just slide it over if you want right or you can just uh, remove it like so and that also removed the bottom part as well. So, and I believe you can customize. Here it is. So if you want to like move stuff around your separators, um, when you do all this stuff, all it's going to do is going to it's going to mess around with this right here, your forward and back buttons and and directory up, I believe. So let's go view menu bar. And I believe Control H does work, like so. And when you uh, close it down and reopen it, I believe the the hidden files will still be will still be shown. So you got to make sure you Control H again. And also has little options to do. Let me find a file. Let me see, it's going pictures. Find anything, don't matter. All right, you can right click, and you can set a color so you can recognize the file. I believe uh, I think believe Mac does that. There you go. Let's try yellow. There's yellow get rid of it all right well, I guess not let's try it again there it goes so so like I can't really like I said I can't really recommend it just right away because um, there's some stuff I, it doesn't seem to be doing yet like right click and uh, I think market executable or launching uh, um, executable programs that are already you know marked as stuff like that is not quite there yet but far as far as like just using it just to use it you know everyday use you know move files around and stuff like that it's it's pretty stable it's pretty cool I like it um, if you do happen to be using Marlin just keep in mind your desktop if you have it enabled as a folder view it'll be Nautilus right so if you're trying to move a picture 
to the desktop it'll just copy it because you're copying from Marlin to Natalis so just keep that in mind there we go and close that off so anyways that's it I'll leave the commands to install it right the BPA commands if you want to give it a go um, let me open up my synaptic real quick just want to show you guys something real quick let's see elementary daily so there are some other stuff in this PPA there's some artwork and some default desktop settings stuff like that I would kind of stay away from that because I believe that has to do with their Luna desktop that's currently in development right so if you want to tinker around with it that's going to be on you if you want to try it but um, what's it called Phenom okay that's the thing that's the name of their desktop but anyways, Marlin is in there, so if you wanted to give that a try. Alright. So anyways, that's it for today, and I'll see you guys later.